Hello and welcome to another video on Codemy. Uh, today I am doing, uh, I am starting something new that will be data structures uh, and I will start another thing uh, in future that will be algorithms. So these, uh, these videos will be like a little shorter than uh, the normal ones but uh, they will have some concepts in it and today the first one that I am doing is a hash map or you can say hash table so hash maps are basically data structures that hold key value pairs and they on average have complexity of o of one so what that's what that means is for example okay i'm going to do this on java so this is uh intellij you can download it from uh, you can download the community version from uh, their website so for example uh the basic data structure will be an array for example if i have uh an array of integers i can see i can call this my arr and it has some value random values one two three four and one two and three and four so the size of this array is four indexing will be this will be zero one one two three uh, but if i now want to uh like retrieve four or three for example if i want to search it uh, what will i need to do all the elements of that array and i'll say if num is equal equal to four then you can say uh, print that out print that number out and if i run this so that will be my that i can i will get four but i'll i what i did i uh, traverse over this array like from here from start to finish so this gave me uh, uh, a time complexity of o of n so So we can make a map like this and uh, then I can use all types of uh, function that Java provides me within this hash map. But you can see, uh, check the hash map class by the way uh, in uh, IntelliJ here. But we are not going to do that today. What we are going to do is we are going to write our own uh, hash map class and we are going to use that. We are going to learn how we can implement a hash map. So to start with, what I want to have is uh, so the one thing is certain that uh, we have two things one is the key and one is the value so for key i'll be using a string <coughs> and for the key uh, value i'll be using an integer i'll call it value <coughs> so actually this will be uh, this uh, i have in, like declared a single key and single value but it will not be the case the values will be multiple so we'll need an array uh, of uh, values and how how we define the size of the uh, that array will be when we make the <coughs> when we call the uh, constructor whenever we make uh, a new uh, instance of this uh, class we will provide the size of uh, our hash table and we will then set the value will be new int and whatever size that we provide in it so that this will initialize this uh, uh, this array to whatever size we provide it. Okay, so what are some things that we need to implement? If I go back to the Wikipedia page, the first thing that we see is the hashing. <clears throat> so what is hashing basically? If we see uh, some picture here, for example, this one. So this is basically our key, John Smith. And we, we need to write a function that converts this key into uh, an index of our array. I have something here uh, to better explain it. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have uh, an array of uh, 10 integers and then I will have uh, input as like one or two or three. And then I'll write a, I, I'll write a hash function to give me that index. So for example, if I write four here, it gives me uh, an index four. If I write 10 here, it gives me an index three. So there are basically, uh, you can write the hash function multiple ways. There are a lot of different types of uh, hash, fun hash functions you can find. But since we are learning to implement it, we are going to uh, impl uh, like implement a very simple one. So the first thing is we need to write a hash function. Uh, like we can call it hash function. What it will do, it will return us an uh, array, uh, array index, which will be integer. And what we are going to give it, it will we will give it a key. 
right we'll give it a key and it will do something inside and it will give us back or uh, it should give us back one uh, array of index that should, we should put our value on uh, into so what we are going to do the uh, method that i i am using uh, here is very, uh, very simple for example int uh, you can say index i'll say index is equal to a dot length uh, modulus of its size and then return that index so this is very very simple one so what what i'm going to do here is uh, okay so i don't have size here uh, okay i can say value dot size value dot length right so uh, we can have uh, uh, we can uh, this, this is fine i think uh, we'll divide the size of our string with the uh, size of our uh, array and get the remainder of it if we go back to our example here so if i write one what is it is going to, this is going uh to the this is the key length one two three this is the length of our string and this is the output of the array so what i'm going to do what, what i'm doing here is dividing three by ten and whatever is remained as a remainder i am getting it here for example if i write four i'll get four if i write good me is a good channel so channel so the length of this string now is 24 but i am still getting four so uh what what uh why i'm using mod because i am i want to always have an index uh within the size of my array it doesn't matter how long this uh uh key will be uh i will always always get uh an in index that is less than that uh, less than 10 that less than the size of my array so let's go and implement further the, the first thing is hash function so the next thing is we want some i will uh, we, we need to write some function that puts value inside our uh, hash table so we will need a hash uh, we will need a put function what we want to do here is we will provide it with a key we will provide it with a key and we will provide it with a value and what we want to do is now we want to find a uh, respective index with this key with our hash function and then put this value on that index so the first thing that we want to do here is int index is equal to we'll call the hash, our hash function uh, with this key here and then what we want to do is we will just uh, say value sorry it should be values and just to like make it, make it more readable so uh values uh this index that we uh, got from our hash function and it should be now uh v <coughs> okay so whatever value we are providing here we will put it on the index that we get from our hash function by parsing the key that we have here so and the next function that we want to write now is uh, get function so the get function should return us the value that is inside uh, the that is uh, that we have saved with uh, on any corresponding key so it should return an integer and what we want to what we will be giving it is the key so this will be a similar one we will provide we will pass the key to our hash function it will give us the index that uh, the respective index and then what we will do is we will just return the value present at that index uh, inside our array so i think that is a very basic implementation of uh, our hash function hash map if we go back here uh, what we what we can do now is uh, we can create not the hash table uh, hash we can call it map uh, let's remove this uh, new hash table and uh, if you remember we have to give it a size uh, when we are make, when we make the when we call the constructor here so it is giving me some problem here but uh, because i have not provided any size here let's start with 10 as we have uh, an example with an array of size 10 here so we'll have uh, a hash map of size 10 and then what i can do is i can say map dot put 
and I will have to provide a key which will be one and then one as a value. So if I uh, then try to get the value with same key one, uh, let's save it. Um, int val is equal to this and then we will just print it out on the console well let's see let's see what happens so we are getting one here if you can see here we are getting one what is happening we are uh, making a hash map we are putting a uh, one into the uh, into our hash table and we are getting then we are taking back what we put and then we are printing it so this is basically very very basic one uh, but there are some problems with it major problems the one i want to point out is uh, collisions so if i go back and explain for example if i put in a couple if i put in three and put the value of three and if i try to then get the three and then print it it should work fine it will give me three but since we are using a hash function that is this simple uh, like this one if i go back here and if i write uh, if i write one the generated key is three if i write two the generated key is still three because the size of uh, the uh, our key one or two is basically the same and even if i write 10 it will still be the same so what will happen if i do if what it will happen if i uh, write one like put one uh, as a key uh, and then give it a value of one and if i write two and then put two here and if i then try to get uh, one back what will happen it will give me two why because uh, paste so initially it was this when i put uh, one on one what it did was it uh, gave me an index of three and put a value of one here when i called it on three it gave me an index of five and put value of three here but when i called it for two it gave me an index of three and replaced this one with two so that's a problem uh, if i am getting the same index with two different keys i should have some way to know whether uh, whether or not there was already something on here and I need to keep the track of uh, the data otherwise it will be lost so there are several ways we can do that uh, so one of which is uh, we will be implementing uh, in this in the next video which will be uh, separate chaining with linked list you can read all about it here uh, quite a short video for uh, to, to implement a hash map uh, I think that is pretty much it uh, I think I didn't use this key here but we can handle it uh, we'll see why why what is the use of this key in the next video uh, till then goodbye